All right, we are making a mason jar mural, and showing us yes. how to do that is Ken and Paige. Yes. Um, first of all, just thank you for being part of the show today. You guys just brought it outside, and it was yeah, I was yeah, I mean, Riley songs I knew from my yeah, I know. You two should take it on the road. Well, I have never impressive. felt so blonde in that lineup. <laughs> yes, blonde. Even though my singing was fantastic, all just right, throwing yeah. it out. Help me out. Go back to Dollywood, back last May. Something caught your eye. Yeah, so we were all in Dollywood. As every all of our uh, longtime viewers know, we had a great time. The Look at how much fun there. we had. We had so a much blast. Fun. I think, a Kim, what happened? She was falling down. She's not well, jumping her off usual. Wall. She has that trick knee, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of went out on her. <laughs> well, we were working like really hard, long, 12, 13 yeah, hours. Yes. So we all found solace waiting for our table at the restaurant at the hotel bar. At the, at the local bar. And so sure. this was what was behind the, the bar. Yes. Um, we've got now, a little video here of it. Check this out. Now, when you were up close to it, we didn't kind of know what it was. But yeah. then when you kind of come back, you realize, check this out right here. This is actually a farmhouse. That's so cool. And this was wheat. So close to it, you're like, oh, just kind of cool, mason right, jars. Yeah. When you pull back, it is a whole farm scene. There's wheat. The, the sunset is right. absolutely barn. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Look, you can right. see another barn. Truth it's, be told, it took me like till the fourth day when I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a barn there. First of all, how about we were there too yeah, and there we didn't even nice notice. <laughs> there's an, you said, until you pointed it out, yeah. I... Right. Had no idea. I was looking well, at the bottles underneath. Not we the no, we were obsessed. We were there with Dave Lowe, who's the head of our props right. department, yeah. and we were like, "How do you think they did it? How do you think?" It? And we asked and asked and asked if we, we could have one. We and may or may not have become very good friends with the woman behind <laughs> yes. the bar. I'm the yes. if yes. you will. Yes, but finally, Dave got one down, opened it up, and we figured out how to do it. Well, okay. And so okay. we have right. the secret yep. Yep. Dollywood yep. formula. So how do we get started? All right, okay. so what you're gonna need for this is just standard mason jars. Mm -hmm. Good old, this is the secret ingredient, folks, vegetable oil. Um, and then you're gonna need a photo. We actually started, we have the photo that we started with, which um, is just a photo from my iPhone. This is a backyard at our weekend place, just like snapped it one evening. So I have to say the resolution Beautiful. on that little like, sorry, Marcus, no, it's just a, I know, I'm kind I of know. embarrassed oh. to admit it was off my phone as opposed to it's a fancy camera. It's gorgeous. Um, it's sent that off to list like a local Kinko's to have it printed in the size of the space you want to fill. Mm -hmm. um, and then as that was waiting, I turned it over to Miss Pagey. Here. Yes. All right, Pagey. So he said he did a 40 by 70 uh, piece image. of image. Yes. So what you see behind here is what I put together, and I got started earlier this right. morning, um, which is really easy. Well, first I marked out my studs to make sure, because this is going to be holding quite a bit of weight. No, not you and, <laughs> and Mar. These two are saying right. these are their studs. Right. So found the studs. Then I, it was 70 inches long. So, and you, you can cut this to any size you want. I I put the screws into the wall, into the studs, well, and then level. into the shelf. And yes, they were level. And then Ken took it from here. So I picked up the print, all done. And what I did was I measured sort of the clearance for the inside of the jar. I found it was three by five and a quarter. You want to fill the jar as much as possible, but those mason jars do curve. Yeah. So you don't want it, you want it small enough so you don't hit the curve. And then just draw a huge grid on the back of your photo with that measurement. So three by five and a half going vertically and then going horizontally. Now here's the trick, once you've done that, go through and please do this, number the backs of them or you will right. be doing the mason jar like jigsaw puzzle. Yes. Um, and then just simply cut them out with a sheet of paper and you're gonna have, we ended up with 100 squares, 100 little And did you print images. them in color, black and white? Well, that case, so this is interesting. The the Dollywood one was all sepia toned. Yeah. This one, as you saw in the original photo, was quite vibrant in color. Right. Yeah. I found that once you put it in the oil, it mutes everything. Okay. It kind of so, almost made this sepia as right. well. Right. So I say you want to go with a color photo that's maybe a little vibrant, so you don't sure. Lose. Or then wait a minute. Saturation. Or would it make sense to go with a lighter oil? <laughs> right. Would well, you do like a grapeseed oil? You could if you yeah you could do grapeseed oil. You don't want to do olive oil or corn oil because that's going to be too. This is uh um safflower. Safflower. So that's going to yeah. be relatively. Light, but you're right, you can really change but is the this cost and it, I was gonna say, you're gonna spend so much money <laughs> if you fill it with olive oil. Wait a minute, yeah. how this? much oil did you use? Do you know how many? Four of these. Okay. 80,000 milliliters. Yes. That, this is by milli 80,000 yeah. milliliters. Counting. Which no, is like we did. Four, we four had jobs. to count this morning. Four yes. Okay. Yeah, we had to do some math, or rather, Siri okay. did math. Um, so then all you're gonna do <laughs> is yeah. um, fill your jar. All right. Yep. And very, very simple. 
And, and it just drops it. And by the way, any right special in. kind of paper you put it on? Yeah, exactly. Um, Does this it is a little bit of the hard stock, but it's just regular. I was worried that it might affect the um, the, the ink, but yeah. no, I tested it and absolutely fine. And it's all do your good. lid on. And to to Paige's point earlier, make sure you put your brackets into studs mm -hmm. because this is a lot of oil. It's very heavy. It's, it's a lot, lot of weight. Heavy. And then you look here, as you can see on the back, I've got number fifty-seven. And I've got number so fifty-six. Here, okay. You can see that. So all we do mm. is. Hold on, do I have 57? Now do you want to have it? Yeah, I have 56. So mine goes here. Okay, and mine goes, whoopsie, it moved, there we go. And all you have to do is, if it does move, because it will move around, just keep turning, turning your, yeah. Right. And how much would this cost you? Because that's how many, 83,000 milliliters 80, of oil? It's just four jugs, but it sounds yeah. because say 80,000 milliliters. Well, we were talking about that one at Dollar, but that must, how much do you think? You at least $10,000 if you wow. had a, if you had somebody come in and do that. That It was huge and it was yeah, amazing. Right. And it takes a lot of time. Right. But right. we did it in the about whole, two. The whole thing, shelves, brackets, photo jars, 80,000 milliliters of oil, um, $220. <laughs> Well done. Yes. I have never seen a photo display That's like amazing. that in my life. That is it's phenomenal. Fun. Phenomenal. I wonder if you could use just clear water too. But yeah, you probably could. Oh, you probably, probably could.